Attention, Nintendo 3DS exclusive guests. You will shortly be amongst the first people in the world to see and play Nintendo 3DS. Featuring amazing 3D visuals, but without the need for glasses. Nintendo 3DS. Believe your eyes. Hi, it's Mike from OutsetVillage.com and I've just got back from the Nintendo 3DS preview event in Bristol where I got to try out a few of the new games on offer. The event itself was actually a pretty good effort. There was a Hall of Fame showing off previous Nintendo handhelds, a holographic display, a clever interactive Street Pass demo, and then a weird Street Fighter thing complete with photo opportunities. There was also a uh, Resident Evil performance, but it was too dark to show you and it wasn't very good anyway. Then, after a brief message from Jonathan Ross... It's also got a camera at the front and two at the back there, so you can take proper 3D pictures, which is, I've done a few and they're incredible. I can't wait to take it out and take this to the wife, steady. It was time to have a play. Let me tell you, the 3DS is very impressive. It's a little plasticky, but it looks great and it feels great in your hand. The screens are bright and really crisp, and the 3D effect is even better than I was expecting it to be. It's kind of like looking through a window. I didn't see anything pop out of the screen as such, but there's a lot of depth behind the screen. Uh, it's not going to blow your mind, but it should make games a lot more immersive from here on out. There is definitely a sweet spot, and if you turn the 3DS to the left or the right, you do lose the 3D effect. But to be honest, I was holding the 3DS how I hold my DSi now, and I wasn't really running into any problems. So the first thing I tried out was Asphalt 3D, which is very impressive. The load times were annoying, but they're probably justified. Everything from the menus to the tracks themselves look fantastic, and if you're going to pick up a racing game at launch, this is the one I would say to go for. Its rival, Ridge Racer, isn't as bad as everyone keeps saying, but it doesn't really feel like a retail title, to be fair. Uh, you'd probably be best off picking up Asphalt 3D, in my view. First party game, Ocarina of Time, the uh, new Zelda title, was really impressive, and it lends itself well to the 3D effect, although you can tell that it is an N64 port. The quality of the graphics was a bit mixed, and some of the textures looked a little bit muddy, uh, but I did enjoy the demo, and it's still a game I'm looking forward to buying, so I don't think you'll have any problems. I was also impressed by Pilot Wings Resort. Uh, it has a really deep draw distance, and the controls are really easy to pick up. Speaking of controls, if you've been worried about Kid Icarus Uprising's combination of circle pad and touchscreen controls, I really wouldn't worry about it. I'm a left-handed casual gamer and I didn't have any problems, so you should be fine. Um, and the game is graphically really impressive. Um, it was a blast playing it and I think it's probably one of my favourite titles at the moment. The most disappointing game on the show floor was Super Monkey Ball 3D, which I had been looking forward to. Um, unfortunately, the graphics are average at best, and it just doesn't feel like a retail game. It barely qualifies for a place uh, on the Nintendo eShop. Um, the 3D effect worked fine when I was using the circle pad, but there is a big, big problem when you use motion controls. First of all, they're just not very responsive, and second of all, um, unless you move rigidly with your 3DS while you're playing, uh, you'll lose the 3D effect and you just end up looking at a blurry mess. So I had to turn it off while I was playing the demo, which is very disappointing for a new 3D uh, console. Speaking of disappointments, Steel Diver failed to impress me as well. The 3D effect is ironically pretty shallow and the graphics are really simplistic. And the control scheme is absolutely infuriating. For some reason, they've gone for touch screen controls with two sliders that control the depth and the speed of the submarine. Anyone who's owned a DS will know the problem with this, that you can only control one at a time. And although this game is pretty slow, I found myself dragging the submarine along the ocean floor. Perhaps it's just me, but it's not one that I got on well with. Nintendogs Plus Cats was a surprise standout. Uh, once again, it stands as a really good tech demo for the system. The graphics are really detailed, the 3D works brilliantly, and the kind of silhouette touchscreen controls work surprisingly well. Believe it or not, my favourite game on the show floor was Rabbids 3D. On the surface, just a 2D platformer, but the graphics are fantastic. The 3D effect is really well realised. 
Um, and I think it could kind of set the standard for 2.5D platformers in the future. It looks fantastic, it controls like a dream, and it is just that classic platform gameplay that uh, never really dies out and too right. The old E3 videos of Animal Crossing and Mario Kart and Paper Mario were all playing, and they look pretty good, although there's no point talking about those now. The really interesting thing is what one of the guides described as Sky HD in 3D playing on one of the consoles. She was quick to point out that it doesn't necessarily mean Sky 3D is coming to the Nintendo 3DS, but it looked fantastic and there's obviously some sort of deal going on, uh, so watch this space. Unfortunately the camera app wasn't everything I hoped it would be. The 3D effect works fairly well, although it isn't always perfect. But the main problem is the low resolution of the cameras kind of makes the pictures look really blurry and furry um, and it's not something that photographers will want to spend any real amount of time with, it's a novelty at best. Luckily Face Raiders and the bundled AR games more than make up for it and I really got excited about them. Um, seeing augmented reality implemented in such a smooth and simple way was really, really exciting. The AR games run really smoothly and I managed to walk all the way around the table without the 3DS losing track of my playing card. And Face Raiders was good fun too. It took very little time to take a picture of me, which it then turned into a 3D model of my face. Um, I didn't see the game actually stealing any faces from the background, which I've seen it do in some other demos, but I put that down to poor lighting. Overall, the 3DS is absolutely fantastic, perhaps even a game changer, and I can't wait to get one of my own. I'll see you on March the 25th for the uh, launch coverage. Until then, keep checking outsetvillage.com for more posts in the next few weeks.